Hello everybody, my name is Weebies and welcome back to another live commentary. Today we're going to be doing a commentary over some Bed Wars and so as usual, I hope you all enjoy. So today's video is of course, I found the love of my life and then lost <laughs> That's so sad. Anyway, so I started like a day just any other. As you may know, a few weeks ago, I... Sorry, a few weeks ago, I was in Asia for summer break before school started, and we were taking a little bit of time in the Middle East, and we were really enjoying ourselves, and we went to this small mall, me, my mother, and my two siblings. My father was out at work, and we were just taking some time to, you know, look around, maybe buy stuff, but more so of all, just enjoy the view. And we walked into a mall, and it's quite a small mall, but the thing is, about where I am, there are a lot of cats roaming around, and it's just you can walk up on a street and see a bunch of cats just lying there sleeping and I'm not really a cat person over a dog person but I'm not really a dog person over a cat person either I'm kind of both and I love both so much I think they're all so cute and um, so we were all going to the mall and my siblings decided to get some croissants some croissants some pastries from the store nearby and I of course didn't want to eat pastries I already had breakfast I mean they did too but they wanted a second breakfast I guess so I just sat out on the bench near a hair salon and toy store when up walked a cat he was a black cat with white splotches or maybe a, I think it was maybe you know I think it was a white cat with black splotches and he was the most ador adorable cat I had ever seen in my entire life. He just walked up onto the bench by the hair salon, and I was at the right end, he was at the left end, and he just started sleeping. And it was so cute just watching him sleep, his tail was there, and immediately his beautiful face caught my eye, and I found the love of my life. Yes, it's a, yes, it's a cat. So, while he's just sitting there so happily, I'm watching him, and he's so adorable. And he just starts to purr, and you can hear the excitement in his uh, sleep and ever since I was a child um, I might say side tangent but I guess it's sort of related ever since when I was a little boy in like second or third grade I loved the show Ninjago it's still one of my favorite shows up till this day and the thing that like I remember Ninjago binging it with my friends me and my friends were role play riding around on our bikes and pretending to be the ninjas on their dragons. If you're a Ninjago fan, you know what I'm talking about. Like Cole, Kai, Zane, and Jay. They're dr I said the awful. I, I don't think I said the order wrong. And of course, Derek the Brown Ninja. But we would just go around on our bikes in my friend's driveway, pretending to be ninjas, just riding their bikes or dragons. And it was just the coolest. I think I was Cole, and my friends were Kai and Jay. And then I had a friend Zane, but he moved away to um, Chicago, which kind of sucked. Anyway, uh, actually, it really sucked. He introduced me to the other two. Regardless, I really enjoyed watching Ninjago as a kid. I would like whenever a live event came on, like season three, um, or well, I guess that's not really relevant to a lot of you. But whenever a live event came on, like a humongous battle, um, I would just immediately call my friend, and we'd be watching it together. I'd be on the couch, he'd be on the couch watching his version, and whenever I had to get a food, a food item, I'd ask him, "Hey, please wait or something. Please pause." And so we would watch it together, and it's just the most nostalgic and amazing thing. I have so many Lego sets of Ninjago, and I have just a humongous table filled with so many collected Lego sets from like all of time, and I really enjoyed it. I still buy some Ninjago Lego sets to this day because they really are like nostalgic, but the thing I hate is the Ninjago movie. Like it wasn't a that bad of a movie, it was okay bad, but I hate that they the, the show still continues to this day. The first seven seasons or so um, were really good, I really liked the character development and everything. And then they just go ahead and change the graphics, like it's a reboot of the show to the Ninjago movie graphics. I think the last season of Ninjago that was with the good graphics was the Sky Genie, and that was a season that I watched like a year ago. Like the Sky um, Genie, right? I, I forget his name, but he's a forearm genie, kind of like Samukai, the skeleton from season one. I'm sorry, these references are so obscure, if you don't know what Ninjago is. But the point is, they remade the show with the movie graphics, and I think it's just a huge step down. I love the retro graphics from the TV show so much more, and they just appeal to me so much more, and I really, really, really like them. So I was really sad to see them go, and I don't watch the show. I would. I don't watch the show as much. I do still try to keep up with the plot because the show means a lot to me. It's still like one of my my favorite TV shows, tied with Gravity Falls. 
and I just really, really enjoyed the show, and it's hard to let it go, even though the graphics, like, suck in my opinion now. Like, they don't suck, but they're definitely a step down. I still buy the LEGO sets because I really enjoy, you know, supporting it and getting nostalgified, I guess. LEGO sets are still awesome. Of course, of course, they can't change LEGO style too much. Like the old classic heads with a classic like Ninjago Lego helmet headpiece that would carry a weapon in the back. Those are now gone, replaced with something more fancy, but you know, it's the rebooted version. I don't like the rebooted version as much. It's just not the same wholesome appeal and the, that it used to be like. And uh, you know, it's just nothing stays the same forever. But I'm really sad that Ninjago graphics changed. Wow, that was the longest tangent ever. Anyway. I watched in Jago and there was this character that was pretty cool. He's not really a main character, but he was in one of the seasons. And his name, I forget which season. Um, maybe the one before Sky Pirates, so season six question mark. I don't really know. I only know like the Terracotta Warrior, there's skeletons one and two, there's the mega weapons, there's the snakes, uh there's the there's the brown dingy saga, saga, sky pirates. Um, a Survivor Island where they all where Zane gets where Zane dies against the Oh yeah, the Overlord where Zane dies. And Pythor becomes white and small. You know what else is white and small? I'm sorry. So, yeah, anyway, the point is there's this character called Ronin, and I thought that name was really cool, and I'm pretty sure it means ninja. But anyway, Ronin um, is what I've. If I, I made a like, promise to myself when I was like eight, if I were to ever get a cat, which I may do in, in the future, I would name him Ronin, because that's just been a dream of mine. And so the, the moment this cat starts sleeping, I name him Ronin, and I refer to him as Ronin. And so I like raise my hand and I tap the couch next to me, and he looks up at me and he's like, "What the hell are you doing here, boy?" And he doesn't do anything; he just goes back to sleeping. But I do it again, and I like I touch his head. I'm really cautious; I don't want him to bite me. I don't know; some cats will bite you, obviously. But Ronin, he's a nice guy. He lets me pet his head, and he moves up to me. And this is the oh, heart warming. And he just goes up to me and puts his head on my leg and he just rests there and it's the most adorable thing in the entire world. And then he just starts sleeping pressed against my leg and it's cute. And I wish my family would never stop buying pastries so I could, you know, enjoy the moment. But, you know, Ronan's just sleeping there. I start stroking him and my siblings come up and immediately I get defensive because who are they to ruin the peace of this adorable cat that chose me as his couch? And of course they start petting him too when he wakes up, which kind of sucks. But he still likes me, so I get up because we're actually we're not stopping them all for long. And then he gets off the couch, even though he was slumbering, and he just rubs against my leg, and it's so cute. And he just I, I stick on my hand, and he just you know uh, I don't want to say smashes, like he presses his head into my hand, and he just you know stays there, and it's really adorable. And you know I, I when my siblings aren't listening, I tell them, hey, your name is Rome, and just reply to that, okay, man. And he, he looks at me and he's so adorable. And they go to a playground, we go to another shop, and we just enjoy our time. And we come back to the mall, and I see Ronan on the couch, and I, I, I you know, I don't scream because it's a mall. But I go up to the small couch, and I say Ronan from a bit of a distance. And he looks up, and he comes down, and he sees me. And he then he immediately, like, I stick out my hand, and he comes and does the same thing, and he nuzzles it. And it's just the most adorable thing I've ever seen. So, I mean, we, that was a story, we couldn't take him home because, you know, there's a rule in my household where we're not supposed to have, like, cats or dogs or stuff. So, I mean, that kind of sucks, doesn't it? But, you know, I really, it was really a nice experience. Ronan was sweet. I eventually told my siblings his name was Ronan. I don't know why, I was still kind of embarrassed. But if there's two things to take away from this video, it's that, number one, Ronan is a really well-behaved and amazing, loving cat. I hope everything goes the best for him. Or maybe it's a her. I don't. I, I think it's a him because I could just tell. I have for, I'm not gonna explain how I could tell, but you guys could probably figure out how I could tell that like, he's a boy. So, and then the second thing to take away from this video is the Ninjago reboot sucks, and I prefer the old graphics, the old Lego style back when like Pythor was a f threat, or even back when um the blue snake guy was a threat. I forget his name. He's not from the Fang Pirate, right? He's not from the Fang Fang Pirate Constrictor. Or Venomous? I think there's a different tribe name for that. He's like from the the other one, the Hypnotizing Tribe. He can hypnotize people. Dang it, I forgot his name. Anyway, I'm sorry. Uh, Ninjago again. So anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. If you have enjoyed them, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. And that is the story of Ninjago and Ronin. And why Ninjago Reboot sucks. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you all in the next video.